What's up guys, it's Smith here from GamersHeroes.com. We've got another video guide for you on the Trier's Trials for King's Bounty 2. Today we are focusing on the Tyrant Trial. This is a tough one, so let's get going. The biggest threat in this particular mission are the Hollow Blade soldiers. They are really deadly. They have Taunt, which means nothing can attack anything but that once it goes off. Often means you're just getting smacked in the face. It has a battle cry for a damage buff for allies and has a Void Slice, which does some serious damage. They also don't take counter-strike attacks, so every time they hit you, you're not getting to hit back. Okay, so the challenge for this fight is you only get two units. You get a Bone Dragon, who is pretty badass, but it's just one unit, and you get a squad of Gargoyles. Now, the difficulty with this is, if you lose the Dragon, you lose the fight. The Gargoyles can't do nothing by themselves, so you want to make sure that your Dragon is away from the action to start. I've tried many different ways of setting each of them up. This is probably the best one for me. Don't worry about the dragon. I like to send him backwards and forwards, warm him up a bit before the fight. The, um, the three soldier guys, there's two units of them. They are your biggest threat in terms of damage and taunt. Taunt is incredibly powerful. It makes every, every enemy attack that unit only. So you don't have to attack it, but you can't attack anything else. So if you've got something, two or three guys sitting in front of your bone dragon and someone on the other side of the map hits taunt, your Bone Dragon's getting smacked in the face and you can do nothing about it. It's a really powerful ability, both on your team and theirs. Unfortunately, we don't have it in this fight. The few weapons we do have, the Bone Dragon does AoE damage. So when it does its breath attack, it does two forward and it can fully heal itself. We also have some spells that will be vital here in a second. You want to watch out for the flying wisp things on the left. I'm sorry, I don't remember any of their names. Even if I knew the names, I'd butcher it. And then someone in the YouTube comments is actually pronounce it. There's always one. Soul Eaters, there you go. Thank you, Mr. Highlight. So the Soul Eaters are dangerous because when they scream, they do a scream attack, which is AoE, one hex all around them. They fear and stun. Stun means you can't counter attack and fear doesn't let you attack any units of a higher level. Now, because we're not using max units here, it means you can't attack anything. So again, the crowd control is very, very difficult to manage early on. You want to make sure that your dragon stays away from them at all times. And you want to try and congregate the remaining units in one place, ideally three. Any more than that, it definitely gets a little bit dicey. So it's a very aggressive way of doing this mission. There's probably easier ones because the poison attack does last for some time. You want to utilize the plague whenever the dragon goes in. This is reducing the damage they are doing to you massively. If you go in without the plague, your dragon will not last a single round. So once you've got, you want a minimum of three units. I've tried it with two, but it doesn't work. You need a minimum of three units, not including the little wispy guys. And you want to use your AoE poison breath. Get everyone poisoned so they're dwindling down. The units of three, the soldiers that are the biggest threat, once you take one of their units down, that's 33% of their damage gone. 66% for the second one, so forth. So you want to make sure that you are focusing on trying to get them down as quickly as possible. I got quite lucky here in the fact that the wispy things and the skeleton guys both lined up, which makes it perfect for the dragon's breath attack because it goes two hexes right in front of it and it poisons as well. You are going to get stunned by the big guys. There's no way around it. it just means the dragon's not going to counterattack, which is dangerous. Um, as I said in our last Scryer's trial video, a lot of these is is very much based on, on random luck. You know, if you get hit with a crit at the wrong time, your dragon dies. On the other side, you can hit something with a crit and take out two or three of your unit instead of just one. So there is a lot of RNG involved, but the fights are really good fun and you get a pretty good reward out of it as well. Isaac down there. I need to turn my Steam overlay off. I never have it on. I had it on for this one video and then one dude signs on and now it's down there and it's ruined the whole thing. This one probably took me more than more time than the other one. I probably spent about three or four hours on this one fight. It was really, really difficult. The void slice from those guys decimates everything. It's it's a real tough fight. So you need to make sure that the core concepts are you keep those wispy things away from the dragon at all times. You want to only engage three units at maximum with the dragon and never engage unless you cast the spell first. The damage the guys will do, it will destroy your dragon before he gets another turn. You need to watch out for Desecration, which does damage every time. I came right to the end of a fight and lost it because of Desecration ticked before, so watch out for that, it is quite powerful. And remember the Bone Dragon's heal, so you see right there, any more damage, he was dead. So definitely a little bit of luck there. Again, trying to diseasing people, making sure that my, uh, my gargles, whatever they are, stay alive. Heal my dragon up, and then the rest of the fight, again, it is very much luck dependent here because a couple of big hits and he goes down. They're fantastic units at max level, but they struggle a bit when there's just one of them and barely any support other than some rubbish gargoyles. 
So once the big guys have gone, you've got no issues of stun anymore, you can counter-attack. Remember, you can only counter-attack once per turn. So it's not, a, it's not an easy way to win, but it should get the job done. Your, uh, your ghouls are pretty much just over there. The gargoyles, whatever. Just to distract one of the units. Because if you get all of them on you at once, even with the heal, even with the damage debuff from the, the magical spell, you will die too quickly. As I've said before in, in previous videos and earlier this one, you want to focus on dwindling down each unit. So there you go. I killed one there and got another one off the other. So they've just lost 33% of their damage. Once it gets down to one of these guys in each unit, the dragon can handle it pretty good. He's quite strong. He's got some good HP, some good defense. He should be okay. But you've got to make sure that you try and dwindle the numbers down so he's not taking full damage from each unit because he will not last very long if he does. At this point, I got a little bit nervous because I wanted to run away and just let them die by poison damage. This is the best I've done at this one in a long time. It took me many, 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 many attempts to get it done. You can see the gargoyles are still down there doing their thing. With them, you want to focus on using the weakened attack once the big guys come in, because again, that stops the big guys doing as much damage. So the gargoyles can last a lot longer, which gives your dragon more time to do his thing. Once again, it gets down to this sort of level. Again, it's just very much luck. If you get hit with a bad crit from one of their big moves, you're going to go down. It sucks because they're long fights, but once you get it done, it's worth it. You get some really good rewards from some of these. So you can see how much health I had at the end. It was tiny, tiny. Managed to get the kill, job done. So there you go guys, get what you need and get back to the game. I hope this video helped you out. If you've got any better strategies, please do share them down below. Hit that like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.